Hey guys, welcome or welcome back on my channel. My name is Kim and today I'm showing you three different looks with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I got a lot of a lot of requests. Wow. I can't speak. I got a lot of re request. Why can't I say that word anymore? Requests. Yes, I got a lot of requests on Instagram to do um, different looks with the Jaclyn Hill palette and you guys also really really like the 3 looks 1 palette with the subculture palette I will link that one up there um, so I thought let's do the same with the Jaclyn Hill palette so if you guys want to see how I created the 3 different looks from the intro then please keep on watching don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel and if you don't want to miss any video then also click the notification bell so without any further ado then let's get right into it I'm gonna start with the shade Silk Cream in the crease and I'm using this shade as a transition for the rest of the shades that I will be applying later on. And this will ensure that I can blend everything seamlessly. Next up, I'm mixing the shades Mocha and Chip. And again, applying that into the crease, focusing more on the outer part of the crease. Taking the previous shade and blending that out and taking it up a little bit higher. Taking mocha and chip again, focusing on the outer part of the eye and deepening the crease. Taking the tiniest bit of the shade Abyss and again using that to deepen the crease and then first stippling it on very very softly and then I'm gonna blend it out but I'm only keeping this shade in this outer V, so I'm not blending it all the way in. I will go back with the previous two shades and blend the shade out. Going back with the previous two shades and I'm blending Abyss out. I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape and using that to cut the crease. So if you don't know how to cut the crease, an easy tip is to just apply the concealer to the lid. Then look up and there you have your shape. So then just connect it, fill it in and then you have your cut crease. Then taking a smaller brush and really defining that shape. So today I want my cut a little bit different than usual. So I'm taking it up higher towards here and then flatter around here so that if I look straight, you can see a lot of the shade that I'm going to apply. I really love a half cut crease on my eye. So I'm leaving this B, but you can definitely make a full cut crease if you want. Now taking an angled brush and the shade Mocha, I'm gonna redefine that crease. Next up I'm taking the shade Royalty, and I'm gonna apply that to the part where I just applied the concealer. Now going back in with Abyss and I'm gonna blend the purple and the black together. Next up I'm using my brand Meraki Cosmetics and this is the loose highlighter in the shade Hypnos, which is a purple color shifting shade and I'm gonna apply that underneath the brow. I'm gonna do the same on the inner corners but to make it a little bit more intense I'm gonna use the NYX glitter primer as a base. For the lower lash line, I'm using the shade Mocha. I think this complements the look very well because the top already is super dark and intense. So a medium brown will look so much better. Quickly going to apply a little bit of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm also going to apply some falsies. Today I'm using the eyelash. This is by Coco Signature Lash. Using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Side Waterproof Gel Liner. And I'm using this to tight line and also line my waterline. 
So the first shade I'm going to use is the shade and light and I'm going to apply this underneath the brow. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is the shade MFEO. And I'm going to apply this shade into my crease. Starting out with a little teeny tiny bit and then building it up as I go. Pookie or pukey? I'm not quite sure but it's the shade below MFEO. And this shade I want to focus in the crease but in the deepest part of the crease. Taking that same shade, I'm going to apply it to the lower lash line. Taking a little bit more of that shade on the previous brush and I'm going to blend that out. Taking a little makeup wipe to wipe away all the fallout. I'm going to take the shade Sissy on a shader brush and I'm going to apply that onto the lid. Using that same brush, I'm going to take the shade Faint and I'm going to apply that to the inner part and also the inner corner of the eyes. And as I said, I was going to keep it very, very simple. So this is it for the eyeshadow. I'm quickly going to apply some mascara, some lashes, and I'll be right back. And for today's lashes, I'm using the Bonica lashes in the style Pablo Lash Co Bar. Okay, so I totally forgot to turn on my mic, but I'm using the shade Silk Cream as a transition shade all over my eye. And then I'm taking the shade Pooter and I'm taking this on a smaller brush and this I'm focusing more on the outer part of the crease and also the outer part of the eye. Make sure to blend it really really nice. Then I'm taking the shade Beam and I'm going to apply this one underneath the brow to give it a nice highlight. The next shade I'm going to use is Queen and I really really love the shade. Um, for some reason, I haven't used uh, I hadn't used that one before. Um, the only thing is that it gave a lot of fallout, as you can see. And I'm also showing you here on the brush that it is a little bit more powdery than other shades in the palette. And here you can really, really see the fallout it gave me. Um, I don't really mind it because I didn't do my foundation first, so I can just take a makeup wipe. But the shade overall performed very well. Then I'm going back in with the shade Pooter to deepening uh, the outer V up. Now I'm taking the shade Jada on a smaller brush and I'm dabbing this underneath the lash line. Then I'm finishing up the eye look with a little bit more of Beam and I'm taking these Ritzy lashes in the style Meow. And here you can see me struggling. Um, there was still some mascara on the lash tweezer, so it kept sticking to my tweezer. So make sure to clean it before you apply your lashes, no to self. Um, but this is what it looks like, and I always make sure to clamp my mascara, like my own lashes and the falsies together. Um, and then I have a little bit of skin showing through, so I'm using my trusty Anastasia um, Dark Side Liner. And you can just apply it straight away, or you can take um, a lash tweezer and like plop your lash line and then apply it okay so i just found out that i filmed this whole eye look without turning my mic on <sighs> i feel so stupid but of course i'm human too so i will probably uh do a voice over so i'm so sorry for that um but i just wanted to come back with my mic on and say that i really really love the outcome of this look because the green pop just gives it such because the green just gives it such a nice pop and that is the last look finished so i paired it with just this simple skin look and just a nude lip um so i hope you guys really enjoyed okay so my battery just literally died so today's filming session isn't going the best but i hope you guys still enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram and subscribe here to my channel I don't have a upload schedule so if you don't want to miss any videos of me then also click the notification bell and yeah that is actually it um, leave in the poll up here which one of the three looks was your favorite and I hope to see you guys probably ne next week again with a new video thank you guys for watching bye